This effect might look complex, but it's so easy to do that I'm going to teach you how to do this in hopefully five minutes or less. In the default scene, we're going to delete the default cube by hitting X and delete. Then we're going to hit Shift A to search for a mesh, search for the UV sphere, and then go to the modifiers, add modifier, subdivision surface, and then just increase the levels view to two as well. Also go to object, shade smooth. After that, we can go ahead, select our lamp, hit X and delete it. Then select our camera, Alt G to clear location, Alt R to clear rotation, then R, X, 90 to rotate around the X axis by 90 degrees, then G to grab it on the Y axis by minus five and then tap zero to go into the camera view. Then let's go to our camera properties over here and just change the focal length to something like 25. Then let's take our sphere and start off the materials. So go to the material properties and click new. Once we have that, let's go to the rendered viewport shading and also go to our world properties and just change the color all the way to black. Then let's go to the junction of these two windows, click and drag to create a new window and then change the type to shader editor. Hit N to remove that and just zoom in. Now let's search for a wave texture and connect that to a color ramp. So let's search for a color ramp and plug the color into the factor and then take this color and plug it into the emission. Right after that, let's zoom in so that we can see it with more precision. Take this black and plug it all the way up to something like that and just figure out what phase offset we'd require to get this to be perfectly looping. First, we'll change the scale to something as low as 0.2, and then let's take a look at what it takes to make this looping. So right now, at a phase offset of zero, there's about this much. So let's just go to frame number zero and change this phase offset till we have something that's clearly definable. So this is clearly definable as it's exactly where there's no black remaining. So let's go ahead and hit I. Then let's go to the last frame, which is going to be frame number 300. So let's go to frame 300 and then change the phase offset until we get that clear definition again. So we could just do one round or we could do two rounds. So I think I'll go with two rounds for now. So let's keep changing it till we go right there. And right about there, we have that exact situation we were at. So let's hit I. Then let's go ahead and change the end frame to 300 and then make a few changes over here. So let's go to the output properties and change the frame rate to 30 frames per second. And then go to the render properties, switch on bloom, change the intensity to 0.02, make the clamp equal to four. And then let's zoom back out and then just go ahead and increase the emission strength to something like 10. Then go to the material properties over here, change the blend mode to alpha clip and the shadow mode to none. Once that's set up, we can go ahead and take the same color ramp and plug it into the alpha so that the areas that are black will become see-through. You can see that's happening right over here. And apart from that, let's also search for a mix RGB node, which is called the mix node in the newer versions of Blender. Plug that in over there and just change the second color to whatever color we want. So let's give it some type of a blue color and increase the factor to something just below one. So in this case, we've used 0.8. Now let's go ahead and change the distortion to something really high, maybe 100, and make sure that we have the wave texture selected. Go to our timeline over here, hit T and make sure that it's linear. Now you should have a looping animation for now. So once you see that it is looping and it's nice, you can always go ahead and increase the detail a bit, or you can increase the detail scale, or you can increase the detail rough to get different variations. For now, I'm going to change the detail scale to 0.1. Make sure that the roughness is all the way at one and just increase the detail to six. After that, I'm going to switch off overlays. And then just to make this look a lot more complex, we're going to hit Shift A to add in an empty plane axis and just scale it up by 1.1. And then we're going to take our sphere, search for the modifiers and add in a new, mod a new array modifier, switch off relative offset set and choose object offset and choose the empty as the object. Then as we increase the count to something like four, we get this really cool animation. Of course, we can take our empty by selecting it from here and just scaling it up to increase the distance between the different layers. We can have it really low or we can have it really large. And there we go. You could create various variations just by changing the detail scale and the detail and things like that. Maybe a detail of three and a detail scale of 0 0.4, 0 0.2 could create something as well. And in case you want this to speed up, you can always go ahead and just decrease the gap between this. So maybe we can grab this and move it to 210 and change the end to 210 as well. And that will just speed it up a little bit more in case it's too slow for you. 
Hopefully you learned something from this video. You can create various versions of this and create different colors and just use these in different portions of your animation or whatever to give it a lot more life. We'll be coming up with a lot more of these abstract tutorials. So stay tuned, subscribe. It really helps a lot. And if you have any questions, comment them down below and we'll be sure to answer them. Until next time, stay creative.